Hey friends, in this video I will show you some easy ways in which you can document and make comments in your Power Queries so you can easily transfer it to other people or just look back at it yourself and easily grasp what it's about. Stay tuned. It's been so many times that I had queries that were so long that when I look back at it six, seven months later, I was sort of sorry that I didn't document this well enough. And also, if I want to hand this over to other people for understanding, it helps if your queries are structured, if you comment them, and if you get some documentation. That's not always easy to do, but there's a few easy steps that you can do. If we look at the data set that I have here right now, there's only a few steps here. But one of the techniques that I try to use when I'm combining data, um, I've had cases where I connected to a data source, and this was not all the data that I needed. There was some data that was outside of the source system and it was just a very small data set anyway that I needed to add to the current values. This was because of an acquisition and this company was not part of the database yet. So what I did was I wanted to add some extra lines here. So let's say the data that I have here, I just copy the first few rows and let's imagine I want to add that into my data set here. And I'm going to show you what I do for documentation there. So Let's imagine these are the rows that we want to add. Additional. Now the first thing it will do is it will generate a separate query for this. It's called additional here. And the only step I'll need is the first step here that is basically the, the code that's uh, compressed, the compressed code with all the text values. Now what I did in my other queries is I'd add a separate step here and I would just paste this code and press confirm. And now you'll find that there is a change type step here and there is a custom step. Now change type I can take away. What's not very clear in the current query now is that I have one part that's connected to the data source and I have another part that is just manually input data. So what I would usually do is the following. I want to make uh, it very clear for people that are looking that there are separate sections in my query. So the first three steps are the first part. What I do to separate it is I press the add step button here. And then out here, I just type in an empty value with a double uh, parenthesis. And then this line, I just give it lots of dashes. Lots of dashes so uh, it's clear that this is a separation part. And this part is the manually add data. And what would usually happen in my queries, I would need to combine the manually added data with the source data. So I could rename this part here, source data. And for me, it would then be easy to say, okay, at this part, I need to combine the data. So I can go to home, append queries, and over here, I'm gonna merge it with itself. So you'll find that there's a, in my formula bar, it combines the previous table with itself. That's not really what we need. We need to combine it with the source data. But by doing that, you can actually empower query reference steps that are earlier in your query. So I could, for example, say, I wanna see my source data and I wanna see my manually added data all within the same query. So even though the user interface doesn't allow you to select it, you can actually reference the earlier steps. Now you click OK. And now you'll find that I have the, uh, the source data and the manually added data. And to keep things very clean, I write here, this is my combined data. And I just wanted to be very clear that these steps are separate and that is not a logical order. So again, I write here equals empty. And you just add some more dashes here. Now you make sure that the amount of dashes is not the same as in the earlier step, because if you do, it's going to tell you that that step name already exists. So instead you just, you can give it the dashes anyway, but just make sure they're shorter, like uh, more or less characters. So now we have source data, manually added data and combined data and the combined data. I see that the step changed, but I just need to change the code again here. So this is the, manually edit data. Okay. And from here on, you can just continue your queries. So you can continue your logic, 
continue, uh, move on to other steps, all within the same uh, the same query. That's the first recommendation I have. Then, of course, one might wonder, like, what is the manually added data? So I recommend adding comments here by right clicking, right clicking on the step, click on properties, and then write something like, uh, we did an acquisition. The source data of this acquisition is not yet in the ERP system, so manually import it. Okay, we press OK. And the effect of that is you'll see a small icon here with an I, which indicates that there is a comment here. And over here, you could do the same by saying this is the ERP data from the source system. And by adding this little comment, you'll find that if you go home and to your advanced editor, you'll find that in green here, you'll find the comments that you just wrote. So it's also easy to find it right back there. That's the second uh, tip I have. And lastly, if you do a lot of a lot of transformations here, it might be beneficial to go to your query on the left side pane here. So this one is called sales. And if I click on properties, you can also say something like, I wrote, I wrote this already, uh, but, but you could write a general description of what the query is for. So the query retrieves all the sales data uh, for our uh, financial reporting. So in this way, you have descriptions in your steps. You have separators in your steps on the left hand side, right hand side. You have descriptions of the steps as well in the comments and you have a description as well of your sales table. Now, this might feel very bothersome to do in the beginning, but I recommend doing it if you get a big model and you've been working on it for a long time because it's gonna make your handover much more beneficial. And also you, you're gonna find out that it gets much easier to understand what's going on when you look back after a few months. Okay, so that was a quick tip for today. It's about organization, commenting, and just documenting things. I'm gonna be launching more videos later, so if this brought any value, you'll be supporting me by liking the video and subscribe and click on the bell button if you don't wanna miss any coming videos, because more is coming soon. Okay, see you next time.